Good afternoon from the parking lot of Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're headed in today because the crowds have been really low recently. So I want to go in and just kind of look around. See if there's stuff that I haven't seen before. Maybe little details that we haven't noticed before. See, I do think that there is a new, like a baby gorilla that we can go and see. This is our favorite park. We're going to head in, have some fun, maybe ride a few rides. See what kind of fun we can have. Definitely looks like it's going to be a nice, quiet day here at Animal Kingdom. Well, here's a fun little fact about Animal Kingdom that everybody might not know. As you're looking at the ticket buildings, we've got dinosaurs like a Triceratops here with a lot of different animals behind it. You can see there's a Pegasus. Kind of strange, right? Like a Pegasus, not a real animal. Then we come over here, we've got a big elephant. Still got the Pegasus. Peacocks, more dinosaurs and crocodiles and things like that. Then we get over to this third one. And this third one has a giant dragon head on it. And that is because originally, there was supposed to be a land in Animal Kingdom called Beastly Kingdom based around mythical creatures. So that's why you got this Pegasus here and that's why you've got this dragon head here. And if you're wondering where Beastly Kingdom was gonna go, it's actually where Pandora is now. Oh, I wanted to tell you that it is now 1.20 in the afternoon and 95 degrees. It's gonna be a hot one. Looks like we'll be able to definitely walk around and have a look at some more detail. First thing I'm seeing is these fish here on this light or it's not a light it's a speaker but the interesting thing is i have a tattoo on my shoulder that is two koi fish sort of in this same configuration because i'm a pisces i just heard some music and i looked over and there's donald and daisy and launch pad going through the river oh i get it the riverside depot and there's a lot of different fish elements to it also look at this there's a camera up there on top of the building and there's, it looks like a plumbing stack coming out of the roof. I need to get a closer view of that. And it's got a little dragonfly on it. Well, that's interesting. They didn't have to do that. That's just a little extra theming that they did. So I feel like somebody could spend a week in Animal Kingdom looking at all the different details. And I think that this light post is meant to kind of mirror the different animals on the Tree of Life. You know, that's just what it looks like to me. It's pretty neat. Speaking of the Tree of Life, one thing that I want to try to do today is there's a bunch of trails that go around underneath the Tree of Life where you can get up close to it. Kind of do some exploring down there today. Still one of the best sponsors for anything at Walt Disney World is the Otter Grotto being sponsored by Otterbox. Brilliant. There is some otters down here. Let's see if we can see them. I came down underneath to see if we can get an underwater view of them. Or even just see them. Ooh, look at these fish. These are neat looking. Oh, there they are right there. There are the otters. It's like they're just cleaning each other. So in between Pizza Fari and Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks here at Animal Kingdom, you'll see this right here. It says Tree of Life Garden. And that's where we're headed. We're walking on these trails through the Tree of Life. Ooh, Perun Shark Catfish. Where's that? Do I get to see one? I don't see any. That'd be pretty neat to see though. It looks awesome. It looks like a shark. Is that what those little stripey things were that we saw in the otter area? Because this is still the otter area right here. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. So as you guys can probably see, carved into the trunk of the Tree of Life are a bunch of different animals. And you can see the root system for the Tree of Life comes all the way out to the entrance of these trails and then the animals actually start being carved into the root system out here so it looks like we've got some prawn this is a trilobite a lobster another kind of lobster and we head further in oh this is interesting you guys see that walrus right there and then as we look down that is the line the cue for it's tough to be a bug down there which also runs underneath the tree of life Let's see what kind of animals we can see. And they also have insects too. So it looks like we've got an ant up there and then a gorilla. What is this like a sable antelope? Do you see anything else? Maybe like a lion, a porcupine, squirrel, a heron, a snake up there. I feel like the longer you look at it, the more animals kind of pop out. And still within the root system here, you gotta pay attention as you're passing by because you can see these two antelope are fighting. Is there anything behind me? Any sort of animals over here? I'm sure there are. There's this 
crow. I feel like some of it could be like abstract. Like this almost looks like a butterfly. Ooh, this is interesting. Wow. Ooh, what's this? Look, it's just, just like feet here. Ooh, that one's hard to see. A lizard. Wow. Yeah, and right now we are right underneath the tree of life. Fun fact about the tree of life is that it is built on the framework of a decommissioned oil rig. So many different animals. Some of them you can't even see where the head of it is. You can just kind of see that this is octopus tentacles right here, but I don't see the head of the octopus. If we look with the tree at our back, we can see the entrance to Animal Kingdom. That's the Riverside Depot that we were showing you earlier. And the area that you walk through after the turnstiles before you get to Riverside Depot is called the Oasis. A lot of little animal exhibits in there too. Wow. Just like we maybe took 10 steps and there's so many other animals that we can see here. Little hidden ones too. Look at this koala up here. You can barely see that koala. And then also, is this like a, a elephant tusk sticking out? Yeah, I think that the, the tree branch, like that branch is supposed to be an elephant trunk. Huh. There's a bison here, and then right here is a tortoise. In case you were wondering what all the waterfall noise was, there's a waterfall here. It was so nice and cool under here. This would be a great place to escape the rain and stay cool. Wow. Ooh, what kind of animal do you think this is? I know this is a rhinoceros. Look at how big it is. And look, it's just totally different again. Like a baboon up there. The spider. Ooh, look at that spider. He's kind of hidden in there, isn't he? And this eagle. Holy cow, and this, what is this, like a, a dolphin? Or, oh yeah, it's a dolphin. We'd be able to see it from a different angle better. And this dragonfly. This is awesome. Like, I highly suggest coming down here and walking these trails and just looking at the detail that is in the Tree of Life. Truly impressive. Just thinking that an artist came up with this concept. Oh, look, a horseshoe crab. We just saw a horseshoe crab when we went jet skiing. But just thinking about the fact that an artist came up with this concept and then a bunch of different artisans and sculptors came out here and sculpted all of these animals, probably from a maquette, right? Like, is that a weasel? Like somebody had to make a small version of this so that a larger version could be made. Ah, uh, just thinking about it kind of makes my brain hurt trying to figure out how they all came together to create this. Even as we make our way out from underneath the tree of life, still little hidden animals like these manatees right here, a mother manatee and a calf. But here's a better look at that dolphin. Like I'm, I'm blown away. I've been here so many times and seen this tree so many times, still boggles my mind how complex it is. So we're actually exiting the trail near the entrance to It's Tough to Be a Bug, and this used to be the Doug and Russell meet and greet, but I'm not gonna come out here. I'm gonna turn around and head back through the trail because I know that there's another entrance on the backside of the tree to a different trail that I wanna go explore down. Oh, there's armadillo. I didn't even see that armadillo before, right next to the baboon. As I was exiting, I'm sort of like back near the otter grotto, and I noticed that there were vultures out here. They're sunning themselves. So we're back here by the Starbucks or the Creature Comforts, and we are headed down this trail here, just past the Cotton Top Tamarins. This is absolutely the coolest spot without air conditioning in the park. It's very nice back here. Like the temperature is good. All of these different tropical trees are keeping the heat out, keeping the cool temperature down near the ground. Also, look at this view. Very picturesque back here. So we're headed in this direction. Also, there's a bunch of different animal exhibits back here. Some of which are not here right now. I don't know what was here. I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe there's some other ones. Looks like we've got the giant Galapagos tortoise. These guys down here don't look too giant. Oh, we've fallen asleep. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. There's another one over there too. I don't see any that are real, real big. Good morning. 
sorry for waking you up. So here we are on the back side of the Tree of Life. Totally different set of animals back here. Wow. A hippo, scorpion, owls. Looks like a bat maybe. What else? Ooh, look at this cat on top of this log here, getting all angry. And then a marlin down there. I like that they put fish in there as well. Look at this little baby monkey swinging. And then this waterfall is beautiful. Is this a moose? I think it's a moose. Or is it a taper? Probably a taper. Dang, it almost looked like a moose behind the trees. Yeah, and then, like I said, this other waterfall here. Huh. Well, there's kind of another section back here. But I think this one's all roped off. I think this is the rest of the queue for It's Tough to Be a Bug. More octopus tentacles. Oh, look, this one, you can actually see the head of the octopus. There he is, right there. Oh, and then this crab. Oh, scary snake. Wow. That is intense. Oh, and then this lizard here, too. And jellyfish. And a horse. This is a lot of stuff right here. Wow. Yeah, this is the cue for It's Tough to Be a Bug. You can see people heading into the show right now. Ooh, what's this? There's like a gecko underneath there. I can see the gecko foot, but what is this other section right here? Kind of looks like it would be something. I don't know if it actually is. Just a spot to try to trick your eye to think that it is an animal. You even have to look up. Look at this, there's just a hippopotamus above us. Oh, and this butterfly over here? Oh, maybe that's what that was. Was it just another section of a moth? So that section that we thought was just something that tricks your eye is just a bit of a moth wing. Is this, a, I don't think it is a butterfly. I think it might be a mayfly. Wow. This is, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It really is. Amazing to see all of the different detail that goes into this tree of life. Just think about it, okay? So, like, these, this is just everywhere. There's just roots everywhere. A waterfall? This is an elephant right here that you can barely tell is an elephant from where we're standing. And then, right down here, there's a bird head that's basically blocked by trees. Like, it's just mind-boggling the amount of detail in the tree of life. Like, I said this three times already, but it's, it really is true. Look at that. Wow. And we've actually connected with the exit to It's Tough to be a Bug. Right there. Oh, they got more octopi up there. Look at this owl's eyes. It's intense. Almost feel like they're gonna be glowing at night. I know they're not, but I feel like that's what they look like they would do. Look at this little detail on the exit sign for It's Tough to be a Bug. A little caterpillar eating the sign. And that puts us on the other side of the Tree of Life. And this is where Mickey and Minnie used to meet here at Adventurer's Outpost. And we are right at the entrance to Asia, which we are actually going to kind of go back to where we were, back towards Creature Comforts, just to kind of continue our way around Animal Kingdom. We did get to see Chip and Dale and Goofy floating by. Oh, for Goofy. I wanted to give you a shot from far away of where we just were. So down here are the walking trails that we were just on. And then you can see a wide shot of the Tree of Life. So here we are back near Creature Comforts. And over here is the Discovery Island Trail that we just took right outside of where the Cotton Top Tamarins normally are. And we are headed towards Africa. As we are almost near Harambe on the river, I feel like I can hear some drumming coming around the corner. So I think there is another boat coming with some drummers on it. Let's have a look. Also wanted to give you an idea of the crowd level as we make our way into Harambe. I feel like this section of the park is the most heavily themed section of the park. But something interesting that I wanted to show you is up here on the roof. Not only is there theming all around for it looks like somebody's living up there. But then as we turn, there's a little sculpture over here. Here's a little bit closer look at that sculpture that I was talking about. And then also there's things that you feel like most people would never see. Like these apples back here. Very, very severe angle that I'm looking up at them. And like, they don't need to be there. It's, it's, I don't think most people would notice them, but the theming of Animal Kingdom is so detailed that they put them there. I mean, for real though, like I could spend 
years looking at all the different details all around Animal Kingdom, especially in the Africa area. So if you look over there, that baobab tree is actually the entrance to Kilimanjaro Safaris. And in between Kilimanjaro Safaris and Rafiki's Planet Watch entrance is Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. We're gonna go down there and see if we can see some gorillas, some hippos, and some birds. So here we go, into Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. This over here is the entrance to Kilimanjaro Safaris, that's the queue. And over in this direction, it's actually where you exit Kilimanjaro Safaris. Like I've said before, always look down in Disney parks because they even theme the concrete. See, this looks like you got some sort of deer type hoof marks going through the concrete. These are holaba monkeys and they said they have two little ones running around. You can see one of them right there. This is an adult right here. They said one was born last year and one was born in February. So I'm assuming that that real little one up there is the one that was born in February. Ooh. Angolan black and white colobus monkey. We're passing by the load area for Kilimanjaro safaris. Ooh, beware of buffalo. There's just a marker in the ground here that says beware of buffalo. Well, that's kind of frightening. Are there buffalo back here? Let's go look, my goodness. There is an okapi though, no buffalo, but look at this, we are so close to this okapi. And this is an animal that you could see on Kilimanjaro safaris, but I feel like we're much closer than you get on Kilimanjaro safaris. They always say on Kilimanjaro safaris, you would think that this animal would be related to the zebra because of the stripes, but it's actually more closely related to the giraffe. We are definitely finding some quiet and relaxing areas here at Animal Kingdom. Heading into the research center, which actually isn't available right now. You can see it from far away. Just realized that we came through the research center and we're in the aviary right now. This is the great blue Taraco. Pretty neat to just be in here and there's just birds everywhere. Look at this giant nest here too. This is neat. If you're looking to do some bird spotting, you can download the bird spotting guide. Also these fish that are in here, these really colorful fish are African cichlids. I always wanted to have an African cichlid tank. They're super aggressive. There are so many of them. Look at this. Holy cow. That's a lot of fish. Came into another building. It looks like this is the hippo display. You can see the hippopotamus there up on the shore. Eating some hay. I like this. You can see all this hay under the water too. Got some meerkats. And then there's a sentry looking out, making sure no danger is coming. This is interesting, or neat looking. These are meerkats. Oh, what do you guys hear? Pretty adorable watching him be the lookout. Oh yeah. Keeping a lookout. And then off in the background, some zebras. Maybe that's what he's looking out for. He's looking out for the zebras. Alan, Alan. We're here at the gorilla habitat. Look at this big old gorilla. They are almost the same size. Don Corey and Flint would like to. Corey and Flint look super similar. The only way I can tell them apart is by their butts. So there is a fairly new baby gorilla here at Animal Kingdom called Baby Grace. She's about 18 months old. And they told me to check around the corner here because this, the gorilla habitat is huge. So, I'm be on the lookout for Baby Grace. I think the baby just came out somewhere behind these bushes here. Let's see. Yeah, look, there she is on mom. Right there. So this is Baby Grace. She is about 18 months old.
It's adorable. I came back around to get another view. That's a little baby. Look at her hanging out with Mama. Both of you have to be on the same time. You can move down if you want. What if we don't know each other? What if we don't know each other? I love those guys. I don't know, you look like you know each other very well. When you see them in the way. Her looks, her looks That's deep. adorable. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to move on so somebody else can... Oh, I'm going to move on so somebody else can see the baby. Oh, it got real dark. Well, that little baby was adorable. We made it all the way through. Now we're back at the Angolan black and white colobus monkey. We're headed out the exit. Over here at Zawani Traders, there's a fun piece of merch. And it's an Animal Kingdom windbreaker. It's got this Mickey here that says Fetch Wafello. And if we turn to our left, we can see the inspiration for that Mickey right there on that wall. Let me go get a closer look at it. Before we head over there, I wanted to tell you guys this is $49.99. And it also has this sign here that says, You are most beautiful with a thumbs up. So let's go over and see the inspiration over here at this wall. Also, Zuri Sweet Shop had these uh, poop treats. That were, it was called like identify the species where you were little like chocolate things that look like poop of different animals. We tested them and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. They were awesome. So right here, Fetch Wafello. There it is, there's the inspiration for that jacket. Also, this is cool. What does this mean right here? I know that this is the Lion King, but what does the phrase above them mean? Huh give you a little bit closer shot at it. So from this Fetchwa fellow, Mickey, if we turn into Harambe Market and we head inside, I'm gonna show you where to find the other aspect of that jacket where it said, you are most beautiful. So we're heading through the market and you can see normally there would be uh, like windows here for food. And then all the way at the end, you see Chef Mwanga's meat shop. And there's this little pathway and a bike that actually is a backstage entrance for cast members. So if you were to go past that area that says staff only, it's backstage. But right here is the You Are Most Beautiful mural. This is actually a great Instagram wall too. Another fun thing in the Harambe market is if we turn, like we were heading out where we first came in, then we go over here. I like these two little paintings on the walls here. One that says, we renew broken hearts. And then Mr. Mouse. He's up here. Oh, I'm stuck on some chairs. Hold on. There he is, Mr. Mouse, enjoying a nice cup of coffee. I keep talking about how you could spend months here looking at all the little details. It really is true. Look at this Simba up here. I feel like this was supposed to be part of some sort of scavenger hunt. Those Lion Kings that we saw earlier and this Simba that's up here. And then also just like looking around, like maybe translating this or reading all of these different signs everywhere. Like this, Cat and Bob Super Safaris, trust us. Give me one reason why, I'll give you 10. A Swahili proverb, a person who is in too much of a hurry stubs his toe or falls off the curb at Magic Kingdom. Well, we've made it about halfway around Animal Kingdom I think we'll have to come back and do the other half, little things that we've never really seen before. I think we're gonna head out though and head back through Discovery Island, back to the front of the park. On the way out, we're passing by Discovery Trading Company and I wanted to look at some of this Lion King merch right here. I like these hats, they're fun. Like a Pumbaa hat, Simba hat. Is this like a Simba bag? Oh yeah, a Lion King spirit jersey for $69.99. Hakuna Matata. Oh, I like this lounge fly backpack. It's like a full size backpack. This is almost the same size as the one that we have that is Peter Pan. This one's $55. It's nice. I like this. I like this better than the little tiny lounge fly backpack. I heard the music change.
Ooh, that gave me goosebumps. That was awesome, wow. Oh, here they go. Ooh. Wonder if they're like, signal to go is the music. That was awesome. So there you have it, that was our trip out to Disney's Animal Kingdom to try to see some stuff that we've never seen before. Look at some of the finer details. Take a look underneath the Tree of Life. Those trails were awesome. I think that that's something that is incredibly overlooked in the Animal Kingdom Park. It's like coming here and just walking those trails. Great place to get some shade. Great place to like just have some serenity, like some, some nice calm areas. You're like if you're on vacation and it's like go, 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 go. And then you're just like, we need to relax for a little bit. Let's head through the trails and then go through Gorilla Falls. It was great through there too. And then there's a whole bunch of other areas. I think we're gonna have to come back and do a second video on the next half of Animal Kingdom because there are more areas that we didn't get to today that are secluded and very calm with a lot of little details and a lot of neat things to see. A lot of neat animals to see too. And then at the end, all of the parrots that came flying by gave me goosebumps. It was awesome. And just being here when there's such a little crowd to be able to see that sort of thing and be that close to it, was amazing. So all in all, it was a great day. And with that being said, we are off. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we would like to shine a spotlight on is the Disney Conservation Fund. I'm just gonna read straight off their website here. Disney Conservation is committed to saving wildlife and building a global community inspired to protect the magic of nature together. Since 1995, the Disney Conservation Fund has directed $100 million to support nonprofit organizations working with communities to save wildlife, inspire action and protect the planet. So if you guys would like to, please have a look at the link in the description down below. Just learning a little bit more about the Disney Conservation Fund and the different organizations that they support will definitely help out. So thank you guys for watching this video.